What's going on YouTube? Today in this video, I take you along with me how to screen print tote bags with only one print and check out how bright and opaque that is with only one print. Keep in mind, this is not a print flash print. This is just one print. What's going on everybody? My name is Bobby Danak and I am the owner of Aesthetic Imprints, which is a custom apparel printing company based out of my parents' basement. Today in this video, like I said, I take you along with me in screen printing tote bags from home and I give you all the tips I can give. So, Make sure you watch this. All right, everybody, first step to screen printing your bags is you need your design. You gotta print this out on a transparency paper and then you wanna grab your screen printing screen and expose it. As you can see, this is my exposing area. That is my exposure unit and that is where I just line things up onto the screen. I'm gonna be screen printing on a 110 mesh because in screen printing tote bags, the way I do it is I only like to do one print, print flash print, really doesn't go well. Plus the bags don't really fit on the pallets for me. So I just do a print and then it works out perfect like that. So the reason I'm doing a 110 mesh is so it lays down more ink, which makes it more opaque and bright to be able to do the one print. So let's go expose this. Now, in order to expose it, it's the same thing as any screen. So get your tape, tape up your screen, not your screen, but your transparency sheet, your design. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend you get one registration board ignore the mess i mean the noises we have construction going on in the house but you want to go ahead and grab your screen place it on there and just stick it onto the screen and now we go to expose it now i'm sorry if it's dark but this is the exposure unit um the yellow light is so that the emulsion doesn't expose while I'm doing all this. So it is highly needed. I only need 24 seconds. Once that's up, let's go to the washout booth. Now this is exposed the same way. You want to go ahead and bring your screen here. And just spray it with water front and back a couple times. As you can see, just by me spraying it with water, it's already starting to show the design. So you want to do front and back. rinsing them with water not much pressure what this does is the water starts to battle with the emulsion and weaken it so then you can come back with a little bit more pressure and rinse out the uh, open areas <laughs> screen are open just take a quick good look everything looks perfect to me just rinse both sides once again and that looks perfect now what i'm gonna do is just put a fan on this let it dry and Get to printing. All right, what's going on? The screen is dry. I got it right here. I haven't taped it up or aligned it yet, but you just want to put it onto your press. Same thing as screen printing t-shirts or anything. Line it up, make sure it's center. Let's get that going. And then tape up the edges because you don't want ink to escape from the outside of the screen. Now that we got the screen all taped up and ready to go, you're probably wondering, Bob, what type of ink do I use? Well, same as t-shirts, 100% cotton ink, any plastic salt ink will do. You could even use water-based ink. Actually, this would have been a good idea to use water-based ink, but I like to use plastic salt. I'm the most comfortable with plastic salt. Cures better for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just using regular white ink from FN Ink, Ryanette, and I'm just gonna load this on here. Here's a closer look. You want to thoroughly mix the ink and then just lather this onto the screen. Put a decent amount. 
Don't add too much because you could always add more. And lastly, you can't forget to add your squeegee. One tip I'm going to give you is get the aluminum squeegee. It's going to save your life, especially when you're printing white ink. Take it from my experience. Trust me. Spend the money on the more expensive squeegee for the better prints. Here's the tote bags that we're printing today. It's about 70 tote bags, pink and green. All are going to have a white print in one side of the bags. So let's do a test print and see how this goes. And when I do test prints, I like to use this. A lot of you guys, a lot of you ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to say guys, a lot of you ladies and gentlemen ask me what, what exactly this is. This is just a test Pellon sheet. You can get this from any screen print supply store. Just go to Ryanet, um, search up test Pellon sheet, and you'll get these. I think it, it's very cheap to get these too. So I'm going to put this on here. You just lay it on here, and then you do your print. Come up. Now that we got this laid down, let's do our test print. This is my first print, so let's see how this goes. Hmm, that is that is beautiful. That turned out amazing. First print turned out amazing. It's always a good sign. Check this out. Clean. Well, now that that test print turned out amazing, now you're probably wondering how exactly do we print on this bag? Because when I try to put this on, it doesn't even fit. It's too big. So, this is where the one print comes in handy because all you do is just lay it right here and print directly on it and it'll print smooth. You just have to find the right measurements and stuff see where this print lands so this is the lowest it lands and this is the highest it lands so you just want it take it all the way to the edge is what works for me and that should be a smooth and clean print let's see how this turns out now, I haven't done tote bags in a while, but this is the method I did last time, and it turned out amazing. And these wrinkles, you just want to make sure that it is flat. So now, just flood it up. And lift it up. And as you can see, that printed clean. What I'm going to try to do is Bring the bag up a little bit more, just so it's not so close to here. But that turned out nice. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this bag. I mean, this thing looks beautiful. Wow, look at the print. This is what I mean with one print. You don't need a print flash print, especially on tote bags, because the material just absorbs, absorbs, absorbs the ink so much better than t-shirts, so you really don't need a print flash print, because look at how bright and opaque that is. So this turned out awesome, you know what that means. Let's begin production.
There it is, everybody. Here comes the last one. It's going to drop any second, and that ends the tote bag. 70 tote bags are done. Come on. Drop. It's like dropping the microphone. Drop. Hurry up. Here's the bag. Everything turned out awesome. Let's count it up. Make sure everything is good to go. I mean, check these out. Even the green. The green is nice. So I'm going to start stacking these up. And I'll see you in the next shot. Look at this bag, everybody. This thing turned out amazing. Just one print. No print flash print. One print. These tote bags turned out amazing. Like always. Look at this bright opacity. and mm, That's all I can say. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you learned something out of it. And if you didn't learn anything, I hope this was an entertaining video. I'm just here documenting my journey as a screen print shop owner out of my parents' basement. And if you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Check out these videos. And follow me on Instagram to stay up to date on what I'm doing. It's at Aesthetic Imprint. Same thing as a YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next one.